hi 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 so it's actually this video that i wanted to make for so long and um i would like to speak about my profession being a dentist and about the period of the time when i actually wanted to quit being a dentist so um what is it for me to be a dentist and what do i actually love about this profession that's the question that you should ask yourself before you go into the practice then um, when you have the answers that would be much easier for you to choose the practice that you're looking for so as of uh, me initially i got into the practice which was a corporate um, and um, in this practice it was a month of work that you do and the production so um, at the end of the day when I would go home I wouldn't be feeling happy or satisfied I actually was feeling really really down and the business side of dentistry I felt like I'm selling something that I have to sell uh, made me really 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 sick and um, the lack of time to perform um, high quality of work, um, constantly overwhelmed, constantly the word production, constantly feeling that uh, I have to sell something. Um, it's just uh, made me really sick. So I raised the question, shall I stay in the dentistry? And at that point, I didn't know much about anything, uh, about how it can be different. I really didn't know. I just stuck in that. And um, I stuck and I thought there is no other solutions. That's how it is. And I didn't know much. And uh, on the top of that, I was really shy to talk about it to the colleagues or to mentors. Um, so then, um, I got blessed and COVID happened, so I had an opportunity to look for different um, jobs. And uh, at that time, I took my time and I said, I will be driving to the different practices and I will be interviewing. And then I would see how I feel uh, in the practice, which is very important because you spend lots of hours at work. So you want to be, um, be proud of yourself um, be proud of the practice that you work uh, be proud and um, happy about the team and the people that you're surrounded I think it's like really important in the medical field and dental field to have a great team when you have a healthy good and happy relationship um, between the team members your patients will sense that the patients come to see you and receive treatment so basically you are healing them so you want to create that environment which is healthy and happy in the office that uh, would provide that base on um, healing experience for your patients and then when you exist in a happy um, environment then you are um, more productive absolutely whatever you do you do it with happiness and joy so um let's go back so yes i was interviewing in different practices and i chose the practice that uh, fitted me most first of all about the office how i felt that the location of the office um the second thing was the team um the owners of the practice and um i was so blessed because i opened myself to the new way of practice in dentistry so what do i do uh, right now which makes me super excited to go to work the next day it's um the way i practice and the way i do the treatment so i do take my time with every patient I do uh, professional photos before, during, and after. Um, when I do the treatment plan, I take the photos, then I put the photos on a big TV, then I bring the patients in the room, and then we go over the photos. 
So I always um, explain to them what I see and I back it up with the science. Um, I open up different videos. I use the videos um, just to explain, for instance, what it is curious or what is the condition the patient has at the moment. And then I offer different, different treatment plans and I always give them an option not to do anything. But uh, believe it or not, at the end, they always ask like, what would be your recommendation? What would you recommend? What would you do? And at times I even give um, uh, research articles um, to the patients and uh, they absolutely love it. Like people are intelligent, they read. Um, and I think that's what the key for me, not just to say like, you have to do that or you have to do that. For me, the most satisfaction when my patient knows and makes the decision and choose the treatment plan based on knowledge. So it's not just like I put um, something into their mind, but it's something that I educated them about and then they made the rational decision regarding their health and their choice is backed up by the knowledge that I provided to them. That's like, I absolutely love. And that's what makes me different, what drives me forward in dentistry. First of all, I educate myself. I always read research articles. I always take C courses. And then I always, always educate my patients. And they love it. Every person would feel safer every person would feel more uplifted when they have a knowledge um it just like you choose the patient you already know the patient so you present the knowledge to the patients based on um, their consciousness for instance if you know that it's a child or a teenager then you will explain it in a very simple words like if you know, like if there is like um, someone instead in, in, in front of you who is in finance and they have zero knowledge about medicine, then you will just use the words that um, are relevant to them, that easier for them to understand. If you know there is a scientist, biologist or someone in front of you from the medical field, the nurse, you can even provide the research articles, the scientific articles, and they would love to read it because they will, will, they will get the knowledge and then their decision, the decision that they will make will be based on knowledge. And people, patients, they really, really, truly appreciate it. So to finish up my video, I want to say like, we are dentists, we face a lot during the beginning of our profession because we're searching, we're searching the way of our practice. Um, some of us, we do have imposter syndrome. So when we say, oh, we're, it's not enough, like our education is not enough, or we have to do this or that just to do this. No, first of all, find and surround yourself with um, um, good colleagues, uh, mentors that you can reach out and you can um, ask for their advice and believe in yourself. You receive the greatest education during the dental school you are excellent, you are good, just to make sure that you perform every procedure at the perfection of your level. Uh, I always um, say, like, and imagine, and you heard it before, like, imagine that if you treat your mother, your father, your sister, someone that you love and you know, experience that to every patient. And also, there is one rule that I had for myself, which I always helps me. It's from psychology and helps your sub subconscious mind. Uh, when you see the patient, find one thing that you truly like about them, one thing. It can be shoes, or it can be the style of the hair. And look at them and keep saying to yourself, to yourself, not out loud, like, beautiful hair or beautiful smile or beautiful dress or the way like they look something something that you like and you will feel so good about them and that will help you to actually bond with them differently uh, and what else at the end of the video I would say that belief in yourself you are amazing you receive the best education believe in yourself 
go for it um, and answer the question for yourself what is satisfying you what energizes you maybe there are specific procedures so you can increase those procedures in your practice know when you are tired and don't forget to take a rest um, always rely on your team and try to bond with the team and create the best uh, team because that's the group of the support that you have throughout the day and uh, educate the patient love the patient they come they chose you they trust you so um, be someone who gives them knowledge who drives them forward that um, they can make the decisions that are the best for them with the knowledge that you gave them and um, that will definitely make a huge difference in your practice if you have any questions especially like if you're a newly graduate or someone who's stuck in a career and feel like a little bit burnout, please get in touch with me. I would love to talk to you and I would love to speak and answer your question and provide support in any way that I can. And I'm wishing everybody good luck uh, in their career. Enjoy it, it's truly amazing. Um, and I will talk soon. Bye.